Welcome to this interview right from the Embedded World in Nuremberg 2016. I am here together with Florian Wallrup. He is Technical Sales Manager at Technexion. Welcome, Florian. Hi, Carolina. Nice to have you on our booth here at Embedded World. Uh, Florian, are you uh, at the Embedded World for the first time? Oh, no. We are already on the Embedded World for many times, so this is the fifth or the sixth time. And yes. Okay. You didn't know us before? Uh, not really. Could you please introduce us, uh, your company? All right, lovely. Uh, Technection is a Taiwanese company under European management. So we are based in Taiwan, but all of our management is European. We are 100% privately owned, okay. and we are focused on risk modules and systems. The important thing here is we have everything in house. So we have our own hardware R&D, we have our own software R&D, we have our own production line and also quality is of course done by ourselves. Okay. You mentioned you have your own production. Could you please tell me more about it? Well, we see it's very important to have high quality products, especially for the industrial usage, but also other areas. So we invested the money in our own production. We just recently get two complete new SMT lines to replace old ones, which is top notch what you can buy on the market. And we also do, of course, the sampling and everything. So that's partly for our own products, but we are also offering as an ODM service for us, as thanks to our own manufacturing capabilities. Of course, just to bring this in, we are also ISO certified. So our production, but also Technection, is ISO 9001 and also ISO 1400 certified. And where is your production base? Uh, the production is also based in Taiwan. It's quite near to our head office. It's like 10 minutes walk. Florian, you're offering risk systems and models. Why do you go for the EDM standard? Yes, that's right. We are offering the risk systems, which we have HMIs and box PCs, but we are also offering modules. We have two versions, the EDM standard you just mentioned and the PICO standard. Where the PICO standard is a very small and tiny form factor, the EDM standard is an industrial, open source, official standard. We decided to go for this standard because this standard was created by the industry with the usage for ARM. So the industry took an ARM module and said, for this ARM module, we need a standard, and they created the, ARM, the EDM standard, which has exactly the best fitting pinout for ARM processors. And as we believe in the open source, which is a big part of our company philosophy, as you also find all the software open on our web page, no need to registration, Linux source code, Android source code, Yocto source code, just download it. As we believe in this open source, we also go for the EDM standard. Not because it's just best fitting for ARM, but also because it's open source. Okay, could you show us something? Uh, what are you presenting at the, at the show this yeah. year? Would be lovely. We have a lot of modules. We have the Pico, the EDM, we have a new tech series, which is like a box PC for automation. And we also have our HMIs. I would say just let's start with the box PC as it's the newest product we are presenting. Let's see that. Follow me. Okay, here we have our box PC, which is our newest product. We introduced this embedded world. Our box PC is based on an NXP IMX6 processor. But of course, we are offering options for Intel Braswell x86. The box PC. On one side, we have all the IOs. So you have GPIOs, you have CAN bus, you have the power, but you also have the graphical interfaces you need. The box PC on the other side, on the other side of the box PC, we have all the user interfaces for the operator. So we have a SIM card, which is connected to the internal mini PCI Express slot. We have a micro SD card for debugging information, for example, and we have for user definable LEDs, every message you want to display, you can. The box PC is based on a modular system. So inside the box PC, we have the main board with the IMX6. And on top of the main board, we have the GPIOs, for example, you can change. Let me show you the GPIOs. So you have a modular system. You just can plug and play it. And the GPIOs, we have galvanic isolated. We have standard. And also the power supply you can change. So you have a module for 12 volt, 24 volt, you have wide voltage input, and we even have modules with power over ethernet. 
So that means you have a standard system and you can customize it off the shelf for your individual needs. Our Box PC, which we announced now in the embedded world, will be a very hot product with the IMX6, later IMX7, and also the Intel x86 Presswell. Let's go to the next product and let me introduce our HMI solutions. The second system we are showing is our Tucan and the Tab series. It's a human machine interface system with a capacitive multi-touch. Of course, we have in CAN bus, we are having power over Ethernet, GPIOs, everything galvanic isolated. And the TAP series is going from a 7 inch to a 10 inch to a 15 inch. And we are also working on some surprises for next time. Let's have a look to our modules. Let's look for the EDM modules with the open standard. The EDM standard is the open source standard. On the EDM standard, we are offering a variety of products. We are starting with an IMX6 solo, going up all the way to the dual quad. And of course, in between, have, we have the dual lights or on Solo X. Uh, the EDM standard, we are also offering the carrier boards. And for the carrier boards, you can find all the schematics freely available on our web page. For the EDM modules, all the software also freely available on our web page without the need for registration. And as it's an open standard, it's very easy to find another module maker. With only 36 times 40 millimeter, the Pico module is our smallest modules. On the small Pico module, we squeezed an IMX6 from, from NXP. The Pico modules also come with an IMX7 from NXP. Next to the Pico modules, we also have the development boards. And the development boards come again with open schematics. Software, like for the EDM modules, Linux-based, all open source, all freely available. On the Pico modules, we squeezed a Wi-Fi Bluetooth module. We squeezed an onboard storage with 4 gigabyte or an SD option. And from NXP, the processors from the IMX6 solo to the dual to the quad core and of course the UL6 version. So I hope you had some interesting information. Please visit our website at www.technaction.com and check out more about our products. Thanks for watching.